Okay, let's talk about playing Name That Number. To play Name That Number, you and a partner will need a deck of everyday math cards. And this is what you're going to do to get started. You should lay down five cards face up. So here you have five everyday math cards laying face up so you can see the numbers. And then you'll have the rest of your deck of cards stacked up aside those cards face down so you can't see the rest of the cards. After you have those five cards face up, then you're going to take one more card off the top of the deck and turn it over and that card is called your target number. So what you do in the game name that number is you try to make this target number using some of these other cards. You could use two cards, you could use three cards, you could use all of the cards if you were able to, but you have to figure out some way to make this target number. So let's give this a try. Your target number is six. Do you see any cards that you could use to build a six? You could add, you could subtract. If you are good at multiplication, you could use a multiplication problem. So you're going to sort of use these cards to create a number sentence. Do you see anything right now that you could use to make a six? Maybe you saw that you could pull the 4 and the 2. If you add the 4 plus the 2, that makes 6. So this is one way a person could take a turn and name that number. So if this person um, was taking their turn and they pulled down the 4 and the 2 and they made the 6, you would keep all three of these cards and then replace the empty spots. And I'll show you that again in just a minute. There's one more way you could make that 6 I'd like to show you. And that is you could pull down the 7 and the 4. And if you add up the 7 plus the 4, that would make 11. And then if you subtracted 5, that would equal 6. So 7 plus 4 is 11. And 11 minus 5 equals 6. That would be an example of another way that you could name that target number. Okay, so now as I mentioned, the person who just took this turn would then take all four of these cards and put those in their pile. And then you would use the deck of cards to replace the cards that were used up here. And then you would also turn over a new target number. And that would begin the next person's turn. So you would keep playing like that back and forth until the cards were gone and at the end the person who had collected the most cards in their pile would be the winner. There could be a time when you have a hard time naming that number and if you do get stuck you would just have to pass your turn and flip a new target number for the next person to try creating a new number, a different number. Okay, so now that you know how to play Name That Number, go ahead and try to play this game with a partner. And remember, you're going to start off by setting up five cards and a target number. Go give it a try.